storms just keep coming and today no exception, although right now in the north we're getting a little bit of a break, uh, not necessarily from the cold. It's pretty chilly in places like Ogden where it's right at freezing. Below that in Logan, it's 23 in Park City. Salt Lake, we're starting out at 36. And most valleys are in the 20s and 30s, even though in St. George, uh, a little warmer than that at 43. And in St. George, you're starting out with some rain. We're also getting uh, a little bit of snow coming down over parts of uh, southern Utah. Some of that uh, potentially accumulating lightly in some of the valleys today, uh, mainly north of lower Washington County. So that's going to be the trouble spot initially, but we'll get more widespread precipitation later today. Our storm is off the coast of California at ahead of that a southerly flow, uh, not only warming us up a little bit today, but also spreading that moisture across the state. Then the storm itself will slide across Utah by later tonight, and that'll bring the more widespread, heavier precipitation. Salt Lake City, we're forecasting 49 degrees today, so uh, climbing up pretty close to where we were yesterday. We'll hover near 50 along much of the Wasatch Front, if not just a little bit shy of that. Upper 30s in Park City, as well as Price, mid 40s in Cedar City in St. George. You'll make it up near 50. Now the rain and snow begin in the south, uh, spread north over the course of the day. So this afternoon and evening, the wet weather fills in over northern Utah uh, with heavy snow possible at times. In fact, uh, most of what we get will be in the mountains, but by tomorrow afternoon and evening, when things wind down, we could be looking at a foot or two of snow in a lot of the mountains, Wasatch Back, you get 5 to 10 inches, possibly more near Park City, 8 to 16 inches, Bryce Canyon, uh, Wasatch Plateau, Book Cliffs, 6 to 12 inches for the Central Mountains, as well as parts of southwest and south central Utah above 6,000 feet, and potential for several inches in the Uinta Basin. Other central and southern valleys might get minor accumulations, uh, but most of what we get in the valleys will be rain, even though we'll see that changeover at times. And the wet weather continues tomorrow, but in St. George, you'll be drying out on Thursday. So it'll be partly cloudy with temperatures hovering in the low to mid 50s heading into the weekend. And for northern Utah, tomorrow we're going to wake up to a mix of uh, rain and snow showers. Most of that should taper off by late in the day, but any kind of break doesn't last long. More rain with some snow mixed in at times on Thursday, and as a colder storm arrives Friday, that could change over entirely to snow, even in the valleys, with minor accumulations possible. Partly cloudy with a few lighter showers on Saturday and Sunday, but it doesn't look like we'll really dry out again until Monday of next week.